Trust the Profits Breeders Cup coverage is brought to you by Play Up Racebook, the most horse player friendly racebook in the industry. Play Up Racebook is always your best bet. What's up, everybody? Colin Sheehan here for Trust the Power Fits YouTube page, looking at the Breeders' Cup Spotlight Series, diving into the past performances courtesy of brisnet.com. Check the link below to get access to all of those past performances that are available at Brisnet. Today, we're looking at modern games in the Breeders' Cup turf, what we have as the number one contender. Trained by Charlie Appleby, who in 11 starts at the Breeders' Cup has six wins a trainer that you definitely want to pay attention to. Modern Games, as we all maybe, maybe not remember, was the winner of the 2021 Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf. Remember, Modern Games was the horse that jumped out of the gate and they had to reload and then was scratched as an option for betting, but the horse won the race. So those that had bet on Modern Games to win really took it on the chin there because he won the race and they weren't allowed to collect. So that is unfortunate. You'll see a lot of highlighting here. First thing I would like to point you to is the prime power number on modern games of 195. I have never seen a prime power number that high. The top prime power horses, if they're ahead of the next uh, second place by more than 10 points, they score more than 55% of the time. Modern games has an extreme advantage here. Next prime power number at 173. That's 22 points better if you go by the prime power. One thing to pay attention to with modern games, that you see these losses that I have highlighted, a second place, a fifth place, a third place. Over on the left here, the footing that day was soft. Those are all on soft ground. So one thing to pay attention to, all modern games is definitely your number one contender. If it's a rainy weekend and the ground turns soft, Modern games may be a horse that you can play against uh, because of that factor. 